That Terrier's tenacity, this young woman, promises some great years mm -hmm. ahead, but this may be a great year for her, already way beyond expectations, and now has the lead in this third round against Maria Sharapova. Outside, Robin Sutterling took the opening set against Sam Quarry, the American, but and was up a break in the second set. Quarry's come back four all in the second. So American Udan here at Ash Stadium. We'll see two Americans, Roddick and Isner next. And Quarry in a battle of his own to get into the fourth round. There's a rare double fault from Udan's end since the first set where she had trouble holding serve. Serve fifth of the match. Forehand that so many of the players use now gives you so many options, doesn't it? And so much disguise. I think her power surprises these veteran players. Punches that forehand. Well, you know, Melanie's coach makes a very good point. Everyone's having a, their first look at her this year. By next year, it'll be tougher. suits her game now. It gives her an additional pace and that ball really works her and moves through the court and stays low, which is a problem for a girl as tall as Sharapova. Relentless, too love lead in the final set to Odan. Coming up next, Andy Roddick won so many fans with his great effort at Wimbledon. It's the coming 16-14 in the final set. The Roger Federer has had a solid summer. He has one major title, and that was here in New York six years ago. He'll meet John Isner, University of Georgia, All-America, who's had uh, Good results himself. And a couple of years ago, remember, as we see the two-hour mark clicking by, Isner took a set-off Federer, the opening set-off Federer, in his first visit here to the Open. Now, Andy Roddick last winter felt Melanie Udan's game. They were at an Elton John Billie Jean King AIDS Foundation exhibition together. So he was a fan of hers last year. And then he was saying after his match the other night how much fun it was watching this kid play. She's, a, she's she's one of those players. Her match is on in the men's or the women's locker room. They're checking it out. Such a likable, charismatic way about her. So businesslike at 17. Business is good. How old was Sheriff Over? She was 17, 17 when so. she won Wimbledon. Yep. You start thinking, wait a minute, maybe this Sudan go a long way this year. Arthur Ashe Stadium here at the USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. Third round action, a set each. Sharapova the favorite, trails love two here in the final set. We thought she was going to get some more support considering what she's been through, having not been able to even participate here and having won. Certainly a darling, but she's not getting a whole lot from the crowd today. Well, uh, you're, you know, you're playing a, a taped up 17 year old <laughs> American Spunkmeister. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
she will challenge if she is wrong. Left. That's another double fold. The ball was called out. She's right. She did hit the line. 40 long. Sharapova, she needed one of those. Hasn't gotten a lot of love here at Ash today. And now, this tournament summary, sponsored by Geico. Now, look at our tournament summary. Roger Federer is part of the top 16 men's seeds that have reached the third round, first time in any major in the open air, and Federer's 37 straight match wins as he goes for his sixth consecutive U.S. Open title. 19 of the 32 women's seeds have been eliminated, been tough for the favorites on the women's side this year.